Good morning from Tamil, Kathmandu, Nepal. Hey, what's the guy? Hey, what's happening? Years ago in Thailand or somewhere. No. No. You saw another guy who looked kind of like me, yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I have not like uh, that big, but yeah. I have a similar clothes, man. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you guys from? Uh, Canada. Canada. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm just doing an intro to this okay, video. Okay, taste but buddy. You have a good one, man. Okay, well, take thank care. you, thank you. But I don't want to start my video, man. Yeah. All right, peace, man. Have a good one. He was genuinely just saying what's up. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he was. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. When, yesterday I was walking around and uh, people were like, yo, hey, hey, you're from Canada. This is like the spot where people are going to um, come up to tourists and sell them things. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm here in Tamil, Kathmandu, Nepal, with my friend yeah. Matt. This figure right here. Sikh society? Yeah. That's our boy from last night who, took, who we had dinner with. You oh, can tell everyone. Okay, okay cool. This is real? Yeah, it's real. Oh my god, man. Yeah. <laughs> Canada. Montreal. This way. No. No, we're good. Thank you, bro. See ya. Okay, wow. Uh, attempt number three at an intro to this video. <laughs> we're in Tamil, Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm here with my boy Matt. He's also from Montreal, um, and he told me about some epic spot that he wants to take me to. I was walking around this area yesterday and uh, just exploring on my own, but it's nice to have Matt with me. He could show me what's up in the area. I have no idea where he's taking me, but he's telling me that it's epic, so let's do this. Cool little shrine. This girl's the first graffiti writer that I met in Kathmandu. Cool little temples. This guy's just cutting up some meat. Namaste. Namaste. Wow, look at this. I love stuff that's falling apart. And India was full of falling apart stuff and apparently Nepal is too. Oh, what? This door is sick. So that crazy. moon and sun combo, that's actually yeah. on the Nepalese flag, you'll see it's like... Oh, yeah. It's actually a Tibetan symbol. So it seems like in Nepal there's a big mix of Hinduism and Buddhism. So you'll see like Buddhist uh, symbolism and Hindu symbolism all over the place. Yeah? So Matt told me there's this crazy place he wants to take me to and I have no idea what it is. Free street way. Free street way. But I wasn't here. I was like more in the center of all those shops and stuff. Well that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I feel like you didn't actually get to explore some of that. Hundred percent I didn't. I was just like in that little square of like shops and stuff. Oh, there's just so many cool little temples everywhere. So you could tell from those brass sculptures that this is a, uh, a Buddhist temple. And then right back there, a block away, there was a Hindu temple. Really cool mix. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, crazy. Like, what is going on here today? Bro, there's something happening. Okay. Yeah, yeah something's happening. Yeah, there's a ton of riot police here. Normally, this is not the vibe. It's a main square, it's a market square kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, a big market square. And then, and then bordering. The market square, I don't know if you can see, there's a ton of riot police. Cool. Singing bowls, deities, jewelry, 
Well, some of these rings are crazy. Yeah, there's lots of really cool shit here. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, and there's just a ton of riot police. I hope nothing is supposed to pop off at any point. You know what? Let's do free street officer. You wanna, do you want to do the banana thing or you want to do like the thing I brought you to see? Um, I want to pee. Okay, so come. Let's go pee for you. Okay. Okay, so behind that market, apparently we're in a spot called Freak Street. Where all the freaks are. Yeah, it's where all the weirdos hang out. We're still really early, so you guys aren't seeing the whole like uh, the full blown version of it. Yeah. Well, we'll come back. Uh, we'll come back later at night or something. Yeah. Hey, wait, come. Let's go see my homies are there. Uh, okay. And they use their bath. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the tattoo shop. Yeah, I got a pee. They're closed. Let me see. Okay, let's go there. Maybe they got a snack. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'll get like a tea and a cookie or something. So we just looked into the history of Freak Street. Apparently in the 70s, the hippies would come here to buy legal hash with legal cannabis shops in the fall. Government. Yeah, okay, government shops. Government weed shops. So yeah, like I was saying in the cafe, in the 70s, this was known as Freak Street because a bunch of hippies uh, would come here and there were legal weed shops. And then eventually uh, all the hippies got kicked out and sent to India and all the weed shops shut down. But it's still known as Freak Street. And now it's just, seems like, I don't know, bakeries, souvenir shops and uh, cafes and stuff. And a lot of motorbikes apparently. Wow, look at all these bikes, so many. Cool spot, eh? Yeah. You can feel the history, you know? There's so many bikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like also I've learned how the how how it works with the bikes. Yeah. Like the trick is never hesitate. Yeah. <laughs> like just go. You gotta go to Delhi, like, man. The way to, I get the way it. to move around is go yeah. and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> but do not, do not take like a half step. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. Step. Just go, just go. Hello. <laughs> so cute, bro. Yeah. So we're back in this market square again. All the riot police are still there. It's very quiet here and kind of creepy. Yeah, but it's uh, it's a little strange. I think I know what's going on actually. Yeah. I think there's like a politician or like some kind of like political person right here right now. Is everything okay? It's like a politician up here or something. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Right, let's go this way. He said, "Yeah, just go this way." <laughs> There's like moss and Bro, stuff growing out of this. Look at that scaffolding. All the scaffolding's made of bamboo. Whoa, look at 
look at all the birds. <laughs> I wonder why they're all on these rooftops. It's like a pigeon sanctuary here. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, it's beautiful. It looks like um it looks like a Buddhist version of Kali. <laughs> yeah. And then you go? So all these guys are here for so the Prime Minister yeah. for Puja? Yes. Because some people suit now. Ah. So the Prime Minister is here and there's all the security in case people, like she said, maybe shoot. You do YouTube <laughs> video. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I think I see you. I see you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, he's famous. I don't have you. I'm not on YouTube. He's on you. He's the YouTube guy. His name is Pootie Pie. You ever hear Pootie Pie? He's on. Yeah, very handsome. You're very pretty. Like Nepali faces. Yeah, yeah, you have a Nepali face. Ah, okay. I uh, think you Nepali. So apparently this place is super chill when there's not a thousand uh, army guys. Site. It's, it's a like UNESCO crazy. World Heritage Site and uh, oh there goes the pigeons. Oh, I am the god of the birds! <laughs> the bird god. This is so cool. Check this out. Like a little shrine built into the tree. Okay, what's it called? So if it gets butchered, you butchered it? Hold up, yeah, yeah. Sneeze attack. What's this place called? Yeah. Uh, Durbar Square. I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so we're going with what he said, Durbar Square. That is where the... Okay, are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's an eight-year-old girl. Okay. Or a, it's an eight-year-old god. Yeah. Who, who lives in, in there. We don't allow to touch the floor, and like she comes out once a year for this like Nepalese festival, oh and everybody worships her and whatever until the day that she hits puberty, yeah, which has her first period. Yeah, she's officially no longer a god. Okay, and she's just a normal girl, and they have to choose a new. Damn! Yeah. Wow, that's so like crazy. imagine how traumatized that is for a child. Yeah, now you're just sent out to the world. And you're supposed to make friends yeah. after being god for eight years. That's totally, crazy. Yeah. Okay, so that's the little girl who's in there. See. You can see it, it's good, yeah. perfect. So that's that, the girl that's, who lives that's the Kumari, in the yeah. So Kumari, or the living goddess, is the tradition of worshipping a chosen virgin as manifestations of the divine female energy of Shakti in Dharmic religious traditions. It is believed that the girl is possessed by the goddess Telehu or Durga. The word Kumari is derived from Sanskrit meaning princess. The, the entrance to this place is sick. And these are ancient, like... Wow. Hey, Canada. Where are you? Yeah, my hair is real. <laughs> it's real. Is this the real hair? Yeah, my real hair. <laughs> Say hi to the, to the camera. <laughs> what is your YouTube channel name? Just this. You want to check for it? Yes. Here, that's it. Here, you're subscribed. Look at this picture that I accidentally took. But that's so sick. That's you, by the way, in the back. Oh my god, that picture's crazy. Like, how did I get that? I don't know, it's amazing. He's looking for this momo spot that he knows of. We're gonna go eat some momos. Also, when I was in Delhi, I tried this stuff called Lafin uh, at the uh, Tibetan area in North Delhi. And I'm committed to find laughing in this in this place. So we're gonna get some momos, look for laughing, and uh, you could join us on this uh, Nepalese gastronomical adventure. <laughs> He's like, 
tomorrow, yeah? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> the contrast between here and Delhi is insane. There's similarities, but this is like Delhi light. You know, like there's going to be some people approaching you, uh, but not as crazy and aggressive as Delhi. Uh, the traffic is, you know, crossing the street is a little tricky here, but not as crazy as Delhi. It's like Delhi light and I can handle it. But I don't want to make these videos a comparison between Delhi and Nepal. Uh, we're strictly talking Nepal right now. I said that in the last video, it's strictly Nepal. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to compare Delhi and Nepal anymore in these videos, but you see these uh, wires, yeah. like, it's insane. That. It's I love it too. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, in uh, India, you'll see a lot of that too. Five of those are like... Yeah, working. functional, yeah. Ah, oh, it looks so legit. Yeah. <laughs> and in this little spot. Almost spot. My favorite. Yeah, where are you from? God bless you. Planet Earth, how about you? Can I be nice? No, 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 I don't, I don't do drugs, bro. The Momo spot is closed. What are you going to do? So the guy who actually knows about the Momo spot because he works directly across says he's going to open in 10, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. cool. So let's just go take a walk and uh, come back in 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, let's go back here. I like dipping into alleys any chance that I get. I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Who knows what we can find. Wow, like, you know, like, I just love finding, look, and it's quiet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Super chill. This is like, I don't know, I guess people live up there. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably the places. Don't you get, like, a Western vibe? Like, look at the, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a cowboy town a lot of times. So a lot of the time when that happens in my brain, yeah. I try to think about, like, oh, but I've been, like, taught certain images are certain things yeah 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 it's true you know what i mean yeah like we've seen western movies so we yeah. associate with western but yeah like have you seen it like what's really interesting is have you seen like how small the doors are in shoot? yeah <laughs> i love small doors oh yeah it's true you love that <laughs> let's see what's back here this place has got a lot of small doors here. ah oh, like look at this okay but like for real look at this wood and these balconies falling apart but they're beautiful yeah it is very cool like look, they put like, okay, we got clothes, we got these like white outfits. Yeah. And they're like... Let's put a saw blade on the back. Ah, roti. And the... What is? Sabji. Sabji. Okay, sabji and roti. Okay. was delicious 60 cents Canadian for that served as a little hors d'oeuvre before our momos hopefully this momo spot is open now let's go see oh look and they were right too I think it, yeah it's just opening now Six. hello and momo how much time no momo no momo no momo there ain't no momo no momo no momo no momo no momo no mo mo mo. Uh, in, uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. Uh, okay, uh, we'll come back. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we gotta come back in a half hour. Uh, I just asked Matt to Google the best laughing in uh, in this area. Laughing house? Oh, that's it. That's yeah. it? Yeah, that's it. It's 650 meters away. Let's go. Okay, cool. We're on our way to get laughing. Amazing. We're, we're laughing on, we're laughing. Yeah, don't even, way. don't even, <laughs> shut up. Don't even try to make laughing jokes. Oh, look how cute this guy is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was cute, but he kind of gave me the snarl, like, Argh. So what'd you get? Uh, do, you, do you even know? Super good. I, I 
I believe it's some kind of lassie, but I had it last time. This guy bought it for me. You yeah, had it last time? Oh, I guess I'm fucking out of here, bro. You're gonna hate on me for laughing? Mmm. <laughs> good? Mm hmm. Sweet? Super good. This cost me uh, 45. So what is that? 45 cents? Yeah, it's relatively cheap here. I, yeah. Relatively cheap. This is really cheap. Yeah, it's really cheap. I, I, again, the only reason why I say relatively cheap is that it's just a little bit more expensive than India. Oh. Hey! Where are you from? Canada. Yeah. Are you vlogging? Pardon me? Yeah, he's vlogging, yeah. 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 That's exactly what he's doing. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Like okay, cool. We're gonna go get some food. You guys ever eaten laughing before? Yes. You, you know laughing? We're gonna go get some right now. Cool. Enjoy your day, guys. Oh, show me your phone, I'll put it in. Okay, so this temple behind me is actually a house where the Kumari lives. The Kumari is an eight-year-old girl right now. She's been raised as a god. Um, it's pretty crazy and she lives in here. The, uh, I'm gonna show you the detail of this place. It's insane. It's beautiful. This is all hand carved and then there's numerous little window ledges like that and then there's like a crazy balcony up there and it's just crazy to think that the detail on just that piece is insane and then there's tons of them lining the whole temple this work is beautiful it's insane so the kumari lives in there i could just i can't even imagine what it must feel like to be eight years old and be told that you're a god anyway that's the kumari's house it's a lot for me to think about it's beautiful though everywhere you turn in this area there's all these cool little spots like these guys have momos here i love these old buildings that are falling apart so much history here a little shrine right here Guy playing soccer. Seventh century, that temple, by the way. Seventh century? Yeah. Wow, that's like 200 years ago. Or yeah, something, something like that. <laughs> wow. Check out the uh, the wood, the Coca Cola. Oh, yeah, that is cool. That's so cool. It's so funny because you would just like pop something like this out and put it in like a hipster cafe in like Montreal. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, there's, there's just some history behind this fan. It's like endless. Look at these I know. Look, it's like yeah. endless art, man. Like so yeah, cool. it's crazy. The, the detail in the wood is just so insane. Hidden behind all that wire. Everywhere you turn in this area is amazing. There's like little temples everywhere and cool art. Really old, too. Laughing House. Laughing house, eating laughing. So that's mixed. a mixed one. Yeah. Point, point that in the camera again. So that's uh, tofu, peanuts, ramen noodles, and chips. Yeah. Give it a taste. Wow. There's like literally potato chips, crushed up ramen yeah. noodles, <laughs> peanuts, and it looks, tofu. It looks like a stoner's wet dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Look, bro, let's put chips and ramen in there, dude. A little spicy, crunchy, salty, noodly. Okay. Mmm, it's good. But try check out it. this place. Hold on. I tried the plain, I tried the peanut, I tried the mix. What's this one? Chips. Just that one's chips. I think it's weird. barbecue chip. We exaggerated. And then this one's just ramen? Get a good view. Mmm. 
We're gonna finish this up and then go get Momo's. We're gonna be laughing our way to the Momo house. <laughs> that was so good. We ordered four plates of laughing and they brought us five. Too much, too much. Way too much. So there's like three plates in here we took to go. We'll find somebody to give it to. So we're on our way to get Momo's and honestly, uh, I don't think I can handle, I could probably handle two Momo's at this point. I ate too much laughing. This area is amazing. Momo spot and honest to god I might eat one. Do we get two? Uh, no, 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 no. I can't. Even I can't even eat one Momo right now. I really. I want my bowl, bro. Yeah, but just give me one of your Momos. Just get a bowl. It's like it's like not even a dollar. It's not I'll a money eat, thing. You don't eat. Okay, cool. Get me a steamed veggie one. I think that they only have one kind. Okay, so get me one. Hello. So the place is tiny. Tiny little spot. Matt's paying for the momos and uh, the price changed yes, apparently. <laughs> She's charging him 100 right now, but last time he went it was cheaper. So who knows what the actual price is. I only had one. One because I'm completely full of laughing. Two, it's actually the momos here are buffalo meat and I'm vegan in case you don't know. <laughs> So uh, I just ate a piece of, uh, I just ate a buffalo momo. Last night we were at a friend's place and I ate a piece of chicken there. Just, you know, if somebody's going to give me food, I'm going to eat it. She, over, she eat. charged me like 20, uh, 20 cents extra, extra, 20 cents more. Yeah. I was like, no problem, but I, I know that it's... <laughs> yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. She wasn't denying you about it. She was like smiling. She was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, okay. yeah, yeah. You got taxed. You got taxed. I'm going to end this video right here. Nice little tour of the area. Nice temples. Some good food. I'm going to shut this down. Thanks for watching. Peace, people.